we've gotten uh, very interested in the role of metabolism and mitochondrial health uh, in Alzheimer's disease. Uh, interest in mitochondria is very old. Um, we've known for years, Russ Wardlow's work and many others, uh, that mitochondria uh, are uh, worn out uh, in Alzheimer's disease. What we've been able to do is link that to another known risk factor of Alzheimer's, which is the link to type 2 diabetes. So that type 2 diabetes comes with elevated levels of serum insulin. We've shown that that serum insulin uh, actually translates into brain insulin, and that over time, as you be, uh, become hyperinsulinemic, meaning your levels of serum insulin rise, your brain levels rise as well. This precedes the actual symptoms of diabetes, um, and it drives a series of molecular events that we've now figured out that through a very methodical but complicated series of, of events drives a neuronal senescence. And when you drive that neuronal senescence, you create um, a, uh, a, a bad situation for the brain. These, these senescent neurons uh, are actually dangerous. Um, they themselves don't die, but we don't believe they're any longer functional. But worse than that, they actually secrete compounds into their environment that kill healthy neurons around them. So it's as though they were little zombies uh, sitting in the brain, uh, attacking and, and, and killing cells around them. Um, so the metabolism story, probably too complicated to go into right now, uh, but Again, the data has said for many, many years that a diet, and in particular the, uh, the propensity for type 2 diabetes, is a huge risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. And so we're trying to run down the molecular underpinnings of that. There are many different types of anti-diabetic drugs which approach uh, the problem differently. We believe that one class of those, but not others, is going to be effective. Um, there are clinical trials ongoing with this drug right now. Uh, we don't think they were done for the reasons that we now know, but we're watching those trials with great interest.